Welcome back to another episode in a series of 5 out place artifacts. These artifacts offer a glimpse into a world that existed long before our time and that may have been more advanced than we ever thought possible. From the ruins of lost civilizations to the remnants of extraterrestrial activity, we'll be exploring a diverse range of artifacts that leaves us wondering about the true origins of humanity and our past. The Sword of Gojin The Sword of Gojin is the 2000 year old sword discovered in China in 1965. The sword was found in the ancient tomb and was remarkably preserved as if it had just been made yesterday. The sword's unique preservation has baffled experts and led to speculation that it may be an outplaced artifact. The sword is made of bronze, with the blade made of an unusual mixture of copper, tin, and other elements. Despite its age, the blade is incredibly sharp and has been tested to be as sharp as a modern razor. The sharpness is particularly remarkable given that the sword was made during a time when such technology was not thought to exist. The sword also features intricate engravings and inscriptions that suggest it was likely owned by a high-ranking member of society. The sword's owner is believed to have been Gou Jian, the king of Yue, who lived during the spring and autumn period of Chinese history. The sword's remarkable preservation has been attributed to the unique properties of the tomb in which it was found, which is sealed with a layer of charcoal and white clay that kept out moisture and oxygen. However, the sword's sharpness and advanced technology had led some to speculate that it may have been an out place artifact, as it appears to be much more advanced than other swords of its time. Despite being thousands of years old, the sword of Gojian retained the sharpness on its blade when most swords of that age would deteriorate. In fact, when it was first discovered, scientists were amazed by the blade's ability to cut through a stack of silk with ease. And even today, the sword's sharpness remains unparalleled. But how did the ancient Chinese craftsmen achieve such a remarkable feat of metallurgy? The answer remains a mystery. The blade's composition is made up of copper and tin, which would typically result in a relatively soft metal. However, the sword of Gojin was so expertly crafted that it retained its edge over the centuries. Some theories suggest that the sword was forged using advanced technologies that were lost to time. Others believe that the blade's sharpness may have been due to the presence of an unknown element or chemical treatment. Regardless of how it was achieved, the sharpness of the sword of Gojin is a testament to the incredible craftsmanship and skill of ancient Chinese blacksmiths. The Mount Owen Moa Claw The Mount Owen Moa Claw was discovered in the remote region of New Zealand South Island in 1986 by a group of cavers exploring the depths of Mount Owen. What makes this discovery remarkable is that the claw belongs to a species of bird that has been extinct for over 500 years. The moa was a flightless bird that was endemic to New Zealand. They were one of the largest birds to have ever existed, with some species reaching heights of over 10 feet. The moa had been extinct for centuries, and the discovery of the Mount Owen moa claw was significant as it offered a rare opportunity to study the bird's anatomy. The claw itself measures over 10 inches in length and is incredibly well preserved. The claw is estimated to be around 3,300 years old and is believed to have belonged to an upland moa, which was a species that lived in the mountains of New Zealand's South Island. What is interesting about the claw is that it appears to have been recently severed from the bird, which is a mystery in itself as there have been no reported sightings of the moa since the arrival of Europeans in New Zealand in the 18th century. The discovery of the Mount Owen moa claw has sparked a great deal of controversy and speculation, with many researchers and enthusiasts questioning how a well-preserved specimen could have gone unnoticed for so long. Some have suggested that the claw may have been planted in the cave as a hoax, while others have theorized that there may be a small population of moa that has managed to survive in the remote regions of New Zealand. Despite the controversies surrounding its discovery, the Mount Owen Moa Claw remains a significant artifact that offers a rare glimpse into a species that has been extinct for centuries. 
Its well-preserved state and recent severance only adds to the mystery surrounding the artifact. So what do you think? What could be the possible explanation for the existence of the Mount Oemoa Claw? Do you think it's a recently severed claw from an elusive population? Or is it a hoax? Let me know what you think in the comments below. The Wall of Kamanawa The Wall of Kamanawa is another interesting find that's found in New Zealand. It's found in New Zealand's Kamanawa Forest and consists of a series of large stone blocks arranged in a pattern resembling a wall. The blocks vary in size, with some weighing up to several tons, and are believed to have been placed there by humans. The Kamanawa Wall was first discovered in the 1920s by a group of hunters who stumbled upon it while exploring the forest. Since then, several researchers and archaeologists have studied the wall, trying to determine its age, purpose, and origins. However, there is still no consensus on what the wall was used for or who built it. One theory suggests that the Kamanawa Wall was built by the ancient Maori people, who are the indigenous people of New Zealand. The Maori people have a long history of building structures out of stone, including fortifications, terraces, and walls. However, there is no conclusive evidence to support this theory, and some researchers argue that the wall style and construction techniques do not match those of traditional Maui architecture. Another theory suggests that the Kamenawa Wall was built by a lost civilization that predates the Maori people. This theory is based on the wall's unusual design and construction, which some argue are more reminiscent of ancient South American or Mediterranean architecture. Some researchers have even suggested that the walls may have been built by a group of ancient seafarers who traveled to New Zealand from distant lands. Despite decades of study and speculation, the true origins of the Kamenawa Wall remains a mystery. Some researchers argue that the wall may have been built by a now extinct civilization, which others suggest that it may have been served as a boundary marker or even a sacred site. However, until more conclusive evidence is uncovered, the true purpose and meaning of the Kamenawa Wall will remain shrouded in mystery. One of the most intriguing aspects of the Kamenawa Wall is its location. The wall is located in a remote and rugged area of the Kamenawa Forest Park, which is known for its cliffs, dense forests, and unpredictable weather. The fact that the wall was built in such a remote location has led some researchers to speculate that it may have served as a defensive fortification or even a secret hideout. What do you think the wall was built for? The Bimbedeka Rock Shelters The Bimbedeka Rock Shelters are a series of natural caves and rock shelters located in central India. The site is renowned for its unique collection of prehistoric paintings and rock art, which have been dated back to the Paleolithic era. The Bimbedeka Rock Shelters were first discovered in 1957 by archaeologist Dr. V. S. Wakengar. Since then, the site has been extensively studied and excavated, revealing a wealth of information about the lives of early humans who lived in the region. The rock shelters are believed to have been used by early humans as shelter, as well as for religious and cultural purposes. The paintings and rock art found at the site depict scenes of hunting, dancing, and everyday life, as well as religious symbols and motifs. One of the most intriguing aspects of the Bimbek rock shelters is the presence of paintings and rock art that depict what appears to be animals and scenes that are not native to the region. For example, some of the paintings show what appears to be giraffes and rhinoceroses, which are not found in central India today. This has led some researchers to suggest that the paintings and rock art at Bimbedeka may be evidence of early human travel and trade, and may even suggest the existence of a prehistoric global culture. Another unusual feature of the Bimbedeka rock shelter is the presence of geometric shapes and patterns, which appear to be remarkably similar to those found in other ancient cultures around the world. Some researchers believe that these patterns may be evidence of an early form of written language, or may be part of a universal human symbolic language. Despite the many mysteries that surround the Bembeka rock shelters, one thing is clear, 
The site is a remarkable testament to the creativity and ingenuity of our early human ancestors. The paintings and rock art found at Bambetica offer a glimpse into a world that existed thousands of years ago and provides valuable insight into the lives and cultures of our ancient ancestors. The Nebra Sky Disc The Nebra Sky Disc is a Bronze Age artifact that has puzzled scientists since its discovery in 1999. The disc was found in Germany by treasure hunters and is believed to date back to 1600 BC, making it one of the oldest known astronomical artifacts in the world. The disc measures 32 centimeters in diameter and weighs around 2.2 kilograms. The disc is made of bronze and features a blue-green patina. The surface is adorned with gold symbols that are arranged in a complex pattern. The symbols are interpreted as representing the sun, the moon, and the stars. The disc also includes two golden arcs that are believed to represent the horizon. The Nebra Sky Disc is considered an outplace artifact because it challenges our understanding of Bronze Age culture. The disc's complex astronomical symbols suggest that the people of that time had a sophisticated understanding of the heavens. This is surprising because the Bronze Age is generally associated with primitive culture that had limited scientific knowledge. People have studied the Nebra Sky Disc extensively to understand its origins and significance. They use radiocarbon dating to determine the age of the artifact and X-ray fluorescence to analyze its chemical composition. They have also conducted extensive research on the astronomical symbols on the disc. The research has revealed that the disc was likely used for astronomical purposes, specifically to measure the phases of the moon and to determine the seasons. The position of the symbols on the disc suggests that it was used to track the movements of the sun and the moon across the sky. The Nebra Sky Disc is a unique artifact that offers valuable insight into Bronze Age culture. It challenges our assumptions about the scientific knowledge of people from the time and raises questions about the extent of their understanding of the heavens. The disc has also become a symbol of German history and culture and is recognized as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. It's clear that there's still much we don't know about our past. And as always, we encourage you to keep an open mind and to continue exploring the world around you. Who knows what other secrets and wonders might be waiting to be discovered. Thanks for watching our Late Night Top 5 channel. We're a new channel and would love to have your support by subscribing, liking, or simply dropping a comment down below. To watch more interesting late night videos, click the links to continue watching more.